annex Donetsk and Luhansk in fraudulent referendums. The noteworthy claim belongs to the representative of the United States to the Organization for Security and Cooperation in Europe, Michael Carpenter. Carpenter bases this information on reliable sources of intelligence. Accordingly, Russia will hold a referendum in the Ukrainian-controlled Donetsk and Luhansk regions, as well as in the occupied Kherson. The date marked for this is mid-May. The result of the fake referendums. It will be in the direction that the Donetsk, Luhansk and Kherson peoples want to leave Ukraine and become part of Russia. As a result DEC it is suggested that the Moscow administration will select the leaders of the three regions from among the names close to the Kremlin. There has been no response from Russia to the allegations yet, but according to Carpenter, the U.S. security representative, the main goal in the fake referendums is annexation. Legitimize it by creating a perception of democratic elections, speaking to the U.S. press, the former U.S. ambassador. According to Daniel Frieda, Russian President Vladimir Putin thinks that the West can turn a blind eye to annexation in order for the bloody war to stop. Some political analysts, on the other hand, believe that such a plan will not succeed. Because Europe is in many places like Bucha. He wants the civilian massacres committed not to go unpunished. Earlier, Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky said that Russia. He said he could organize fake referendums Russian leader Putin in Donetsk and Luhansk just before the invasion on February 24. He had agreed to the request of the two regions where there are pro-Russian separatists to be recognized as independent countries.